One of the reasons I absolutely love using Cubase is the ability to set up and configure multiple mix windows in my projects. Let me show you how this works. So taking a look at this session here, it's pretty big, lots going on. If a quick adjustment is needed, I can access my mix console in the project window by pulling it up in the lower zone. As you can see here, I've got a key command for that. It's just one. So it's super easy for me to toggle this mixer on and off. Now, if we come back up to the studio menu, you'll notice that there's the option to set up up to four different mix consoles. So if we select mix console two, for me, this is basically a full-sized version of the project window mixer. Plus I also have all of my visibility agents here in the left zone. I generally have three different mix windows that I can pull up at any time. Let's say, for example, that I want to set up a mix window that only displays my group tracks. So let's come back up to Studio and select Mix Console 3. So coming over to the left zone, let's select all of my tracks in this session that aren't my group tracks, and we'll uncheck them. Okay, and we can also maybe adjust the fader height. We can come up to the very top right here to set up our window layout. I can select or deselect any of these mix channel attributes. Maybe I don't want to see the left zone anymore. And now I've got this beautiful mix console that just shows my group tracks. Let's come up to edit and key commands. We'll search mix console three here and let's add number three as our key command. And just like that, I can toggle a mix console that just shows me the group tracks. Super useful. 